guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here I usually do product reviews or makeup tutorials but today I'm going to show you how to turn your hair into a nice beachy wave that's super easy and honestly it takes no time the more you do it the faster you are so I want to show you this because people have requested this from me before quarantine and everything like that, I always used to like wave my hair for a special occasion or if I went out or something like that. So I figured I'll show you guys how to do it. That way you can practice during quarantine. And then once it's over, we can go out and look sexy and look fresh to death with our hair. Um, but yeah, if you like what you see, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. I washed my hair last night and today I haven't washed it. I haven't put any dry shampoo in it or anything. It's about one o'clock and I've done things outside and little work here and there. So it's not super fresh and it's not super dirty. So that's kind of like the time that you want to do your hair. At least for me, if my hair is super fresh and clean, it wouldn't hold a curl as well. So typically I like to wait like a day. I use the Amica Switch Base Curling Wand. I It's hot as hell right now because I wanted it to warm up while I talked to you guys. But yeah, it comes with this base. It also comes with like a smaller base. So I, when I used to have shorter hair, I like to use this one. But for my longer hair, I like to use the thicker wand. Obviously, if you wanted a smaller curl, you could go in with this. It's up to you. But preference, I like this one. It goes all the way up to 430. It goes as low as 150 degrees. It heats up really, really fast. And it's, it's awesome. I love it. Before I go in and start wanding and everything, I always put in a frizz styling spray. This eliminates frizz by blocking humidity without weighing the hair down. It seals the hair, repelling even dirt and oils so you can go longer between shampoos so it can be smooth and shiny. I got it at TJ Maxx for $16.99 and it's the living proof uh, no frizz styling spray. So I really like using this. It's lasted me so long and I'm probably about down to here. I'm gonna just spray this on my hair really quick. So I just kind of like lightly saturated it, brush it my hair out. I used the wet brush and you can get these anywhere. I love them, but I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my hair out. Okay, so my hair is all brushed out, looking good, looking fresh. And honestly, it looks really shiny. It feels so smooth. Just from using that, it doesn't wear your hair down at all or make it look oily, which I really like. So I know some people with the wands, they are ruthless and they can just go in without a glove. I, on the other hand, am, uh, let's say, a little bit clumsy and will definitely burn myself. And I've done it a hundred million times without using a glove when I wand. So I used this glove that they gave me when I bought the wand by Amica. And I use this every time. I mean, it's just not worth it. For me, I can just part it right down in the middle and work like this and work from the back all the way to the front. Now, by all means, I'm not a hairdresser. I'm not a hair stylist. Like, I don't know anything about hair. This is just what works for me. So do whatever you want. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. If you just want like a very natural beachy wave that it's effortless, takes you no time, then just grab like a decent amount of hair. And if it's too much, you'll be able to tell, but just grab like a good amount from the back. Start from the back, It's that's easier. I turned up to 290, which might be unnecessary. Taking that same piece of hair from the back, pulling the other hair to the other direction, grabbing my wand in the other, in my right hand putting it behind my head and wrapping it, wrapping the hair around the wand. And then try to get it as close as close to your head as possible without burning yourself. And then you can feel it get hot to the touch. You don't need to have it on for too long. You can just feel how hot your hair is 
when, when you have the glove on. And you'll just drop it out. And there you go. It's super easy. It looks like very effortless. I'm gonna put that in the back. Grab another piece of hair. That's not too thick. And then do it again. Okay. And then from that point on, like for me, most of the, the hair in the back is done. Now I'm on the side of my hair. And I'm going to do the same thing. Get it close to your head. Oops, and that happens. And you can always go back through and make it like a tighter curl or just like add more volume if you want. And doing what works for you. So now we have the front like bang area and for me like I don't have bangs really these are just kind of layers in the front so what I usually do so that it all blends together is I separate these shorter pieces and then I will take this chunk curl that separately And then take the bangs or the front framing pieces and grab these to make sure they all blend and I'll take them all together and kind of angle the wand down like this and then kind of let it fall like that that is the side I'm gonna go in on the other side. That piece is done, toss it in the back, grab another piece. This side always comes out better than the other. I have no idea why. No idea why. All right, so now we're kind of towards the front again. Here are my front framing pieces. And then here's the rest. So I'm gonna separate those. Take these pieces, bunch them all together, and wrap them away from my face. Now, brush it to the front. That is how I do my V2 waves. It's messy, it's easy, there's just like some added volume. Um, and speaking of volume, my good friend Stephanie got me this Kevin Murphy Do Over Dry Powder Finishing Hairspray, which is literally a game changer. It smells so good. And it's a finishing spray to hold. You use it to add like some volume to your hair. This is the finished hair. So I'm going to spray a little bit of this. I mean, the difference after that spray on this side. <laughs> All 
All right, you guys. That is my finished routine of doing the beachy waves. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you got some ideas of how you could do your beachy waves, maybe some products, the Living Proof and the Kevin Murphy spray. You could give those a try and see if those help. But thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun filming it. I miss doing my hair and like going out and feeling like a person. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.